Hey everyone, Damien's here. Today is the episode 2 of MDC News. Again, guys, thank you for all the feedback you give for the first episode. We really appreciate it and thank you. It's really, really cool, dear. Yeah, thanks. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you like it. And now, we will start by the renders of the week. Let's go! So, whoa, this week you were very good, guys. And I want to remind you the concept about the renderers of the week. Uh, they are selected from the MDC Instagram account. So, if you want to get a feature on Instagram, you can use the MD community hashtag. And you will probably get a feature also on YouTube. I hope for you. And some people do not miss the chance to add a little joke in their post. And I really like it. It's really great. So, again, GG, guys. So, this week, the creation of the week comes from TBWA and directed by Shane Griffin. The short video explains the choice of our brains and they are constantly being questioned. So, without, we are afraid, we are worried. You really should watch the video. The link is in the description below. Teamwork and innovation. An answer that leads to even more answers. And this week for the artist Spotlight, we're gonna talk about Omer Kayum. He's an American from Dallas in Texas. He's also a director and producer operating out of New York City. He's a video editor and motion artist at HuffPost. He does really good work. Feel free to go and support him on his social networks. And again, congrats for your work, Omer. It's really, really nice. Let's now turn to news software. SideFX have released a sneak peek video of features we can expect in Houdini 18.5, due out on October 15, and some of the highlights include Houdini Engine for Unity and Houdini Engine for Unreal V2. But also we have one of the biggest news is around the pyro effects and explosions, including Interactive Pyro. It's a GPU accelerated minimal solver for fast prototyping and Pyro Burst Source SOP. It's a new metal for sourcing and shaping complex explosion. We don't forget new Pyro tools and shaders, and also one-click explosion. You can download some presets, some sample, and just put on your software, and ta-da! So, it's quite interesting, and many more features, of course. But we don't forget KineFX. It's quite interesting also because it's a new foundation for procedural SOP rigging and retargeting. I'm pretty hype, yeah. And now, for the community news, you can check the Motion Designers Awards, created by Motion Graphic Collective and with many awesome jury members, including Maxine from MDC. You can also discover the account of Motion Process for awesome TG and Motion Breakdowns. It's quite interesting to see what happens behind the scenes, so come on guys, let's check the account, the link is in the description below. That's it for this week, so thank you for following us, don't forget to leave a like and why not subscribe if you're not yet. And I'll see you in 7 days, I mean one week, yeah. So have a good day and see you later, bye!